Okay, so I'm gonna go over two different surge protection devices that I've been comparing for our home. On the left, we have the Siemens FS140. On the right, we have the SP120-240W from EMP Shield. I was able to find most of the information, at least for the FS140 from its spec sheet, but the EMP Shield, I wasn't able to find all the information right on the website. So I reached out and they sent me a spreadsheet that had most of this information, so it should be pretty accurate because it came from them. But yeah, let's run through each of the different categories, starting with surge capacity. For the FS140, we have 140,000 amps, and for the MP shield, we have 114,000 amps, so we have a little bit better on the FS140. Response time, they're both rated for less than one nanosecond, which is awesome, a tie there. For MCOV, this stands for Maximum Continuous Operating Voltage. This is essentially when the units will turn on and begin shunting power to decrease voltage during a surge. This first one, though, is just for line to neutral, line to ground, and neutral to ground. They're both the same at 150 volts, which is pretty low and looks good. And the MCOV for line to line is the same at 300 volts between them. Also looks good. For the VPR, or the voltage protection rating, this is essentially the maximum voltage that it will allow on that line during a surge. For the Siemens FS140, we have 600 volts, and the EMP shield, we have 470 volts. So considerably lower here. You want, both for both the MCOV and the VPR, the lower the number, the better, because you don't want higher voltage than your devices can handle that are plugged in. For VPR for line to line, the FS140 has 900 volts and the EMP shield has 940, so a little bit better for the FS140 here. Moving on to wire gauge, so we got 10 gauge on the FS140 and 12 on the EMP shield. The thicker gauge is a lower number, so 10 gauge is, is thicker wire, which is better. It has a larger current carrying capacity. Um, 10 versus 12, so the FS140 gets a win there. Wire length, they're both around three feet, which should leave you plenty of length to be able to feed it in where you need into your breaker panel. They're both UL listed to the same 1449 standard. Um, moving on to military testing, I wasn't able to find any military testing listed for the FS140, but for the EMP shield, they had quite a bit of different military testing that was listed, um, which is really cool to see. Warranty, they're both 10 years, pretty standard. And the lowest price I was able to find for the FS140 is 195. The NP shield, as of making this video, was $330. The one, 195 that was on Amazon and EMP shield was through a website called Watts247. But yeah, the win for lowest price goes to Siemens. So. Looking at both units, they're actually very comparable. They both seem like very high quality, where the FS140 shines. So it has the higher surge capacity, 140,000 amps. It has a slightly lower VPR for line to line. It has thicker wire gauge and it's the lowest price. For the EMP shield, we have a, a very low VPR for line to neutral, line to ground and neutral to ground at 470 volts. That I think is probably one of the best things that I've seen about this unit that as well as the military testing it's actually really impressive but yeah both units look great to me if you're more concerned about surge capacity higher gauge wire and the lowest price i would probably go with the fs140 for the emp shield if you're more concerned about the vpr um, being the lowest possible as well as the military testing is definitely unmatched but yeah hopefully that helps um, let me know down in the comments what one you think you would prefer, which one would be a better fit for you. But if you have any questions, let me know. Thanks.